What's up? How are you guys this weekend? Frankie Eyeballs is back. We're going to do a quick day of eating review here. And I'm sorry, guys, I haven't been posting as much or at the right times. Having some more issues with the business. You know, the freezer stopped working. Now the fridge isn't working. Have not been sleeping, have not been eating, but I'm, I'm still trying to keep you guys entertained. So I, I do appreciate if you guys can support us, frank to check out all the businesses. Uh, but we'll touch more on that later. I think we reviewed this girl like two or three months ago. And the main problem with her diet was it was just like a super large amount of low quality chicken. So maybe the diet wasn't horrendous compared to what standard American dieters are eating, but the protein quality was really, really bad. I guess we'll see if she changes anything up for today. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're in my kitchen because I'm gonna be walking you through a full day of eating again because much has changed since the last time and I think my diet now compared to before is better than ever in terms Oh maybe maybe she watched my video. Is this why I'm not getting as much views as her? I need the I need the blue tube top on. Hey, maybe if she was wearing some Wi Fi shielding clothing, the that road microphone wouldn't be frying her body. In terms of nutrition, vitamins, macro and micronutrients and fiber <laughs> we like our fiber i just got back from the gym i haven't eaten yet i usually do eat breakfast before i go train but i didn't today so i'm about to have my first meal see so yeah, let's get into breakfast we're gonna be making some good old protein oats because you can't i mean she sounds a little slow but i i mean for the high radiation environment most people are on the food they're eating uh, i guess you can't really blame her i, I mean this isn't that great, but it's not as bad as conventional chicken. Uh, and I won't touch too much on it because I say it every video. But if you're not going organic, if you're not using the high quality ingredients, that's the main problem. Uh, you know, there's two aspects to it. One, are you choosing the right foods? And two, are they high enough quality? Can't go wrong with that. I take it back. Actually, you you can go wrong with protein oats like because I've organic, definitely though. had some pretty atrocious protein oats in my day. But I figured it out. And I now have made the most delicious protein oatmeal that I look forward to eating. I'm gonna start by weighing out my oats. Ah, that's too much. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Also, I'm the only one who eats these oats. Okay, there we go. So this is one serving or half a cup. I cook it with water. You can cook it with milk if you want milk. So she's weighing her food, which I'm not that much of a fan of. Personally, I just choose high quality stuff and I eat as much of it as I want. And I make sure that each meal has like the components that I need. So I'll have a source of protein, I'll have a source of carbohydrates and starch. I'll have a source of fiber and then I'll eat and choose how much of each one I want. Water. Good old sink water. Tap water in Hawaii is clean. Doubt it. Everything for the most part goes through like a water treatment plant and it gets a ton of fluoride and chlorine. So the government says, oh, the water's clean, the water's healthy, but they're really poisoning you. That's enough. I mean, we have videos on EMF, microwaves, and all that stuff if you want. If you want to learn more about the radiation and stuff. Fresh, hot, steamy oats. A pro tip for me would be since we're adding in some whey protein powder it's going to absorb yeah i've said this before i'm under the belief that 100 percent bodybuilding was started by a bunch of homos and it's just this muscle cult and there's like a bunch of old weird dudes that want you to get muscular so they can stare at you like i'm completely convinced absorb some of this moisture so i like to put some extra water beforehand because the texture is best that way. If you add the water afterwards, I feel like it makes the oats a lot more grainy. Then I'm gonna add in one full scoop of vanilla whey protein powder. I mean, as she's butchering these oats, all I'm thinking about is how she should probably just eat that container of whatever that organic stuff is. Powder. And for my other toppings, I keep it real simple. I just have a serving of dates. Those were, I thought they were dates, cinnamon. yeah. I like to cut them up like this into little bites so that I can sprinkle it on top. 
and then occasionally as I'm eating my protein oats I get a little mouthful of creamy brown sugar goodness or at least that's what I tell myself now that you have your little turds and your oats I'm gonna add my cinnamon here is the final product as I said earlier compared to like a standard American diet it's not that bad, but compared to what you could be doing, you know, it's not 100% there. Go organic, go high quality, and then I guess we can discuss what you should and should be putting on this. I mean, the obvious one is cinnamon. It's pretty hard on the liver, so it's best to avoid it, especially every meal for breakfast. And I can't wait to eat this, so... Never enjoyed oats so much until I had dates in them. If you watched my last What I Eat in a Day video, then you might remember this. If you make it high quality with the right ingredients, it's going to taste good. Like, yeah, you got your whey protein, which is an excellent source of protein and B vitamins, even though it's conventional quality. You got the oats, which are an excellent source of fiber, excellent source of carbohydrates, probably one of the best starches in general to have. She's got a little sweetener in there. She's got some dates. So overall, I think the food choices are pretty good here. It's just it has to be higher quality. And maybe, you know, use like a grass-fed beef collagen protein instead of the whey protein. This handy dandy notebook, which I used um, to track my protein and calories. If not, I'll explain it really quickly. So I just put the protein on this side and the calories on this side, and then I can add it all up at the end of the day. All right, who's excited for lunch? I am. <laughs> I, for one, <laughs> for lunch, there will actually be some cooking involved this time around and it's going to be my first time vlogging and cooking so hopefully i don't burn anything so for lunch maybe she needs some coffee is that why she seems a little dead inside we have some sockeye salmon wait it's special what's it called it's wild caught alaska <laughs> sockeye salmon um and then i have some eggs what did she watch my video and now she's doing some research <laughs> Doesn't remember that the salmon is wild caught. Kiwi, a very interesting, very flat looking kiwi. It's like a loaf. You know, like when a cat like loafs on the ground. That's kind of what this kiwi is doing. Some cakey cukes, also known as mini cucumbers. And then some butter. We're gonna be cooking. I'll be honest with you guys. This was not my first video choice to review. I wanted to do another one, but it was a little longer. And I'm already so late today that like, I just figured, let me choose the 10 minute video and we'll take a look real quick, but <laughs> I'm regretting it. Cooking with some butter. This is grass fed Irish cows. Half a tablespoon of olive oil. So she, she's trying, you know, she's it's trying. It's gonna get a little noisy. She's not 100% there yet. I love cucumbers. They're so fresh and crunchy and yummy. Next, I have eggs which I'm gonna have two whole eggs and then the egg whites of the other two. And then I have a little half a tablespoon of butter here that I'll use. I mean, just eat that and that's a better lunch and than what she was gonna make. I like to do this fried garlic thing with my salmon that I'll show you. Those are just like the regular conventional supermarket eggs. A little so bit of yolk slipped out when I was trying to get the whites, but that's okay. Kind of and one of the worst protein sources you can boy. choose. This is probably almost done. So I can do the fried garlic thing now. Yeah, pork and chicken and conventional eggs are all pretty bad. The, the beef isn't as bad, the dairy isn't as bad, but not ideal choices. So for that, I'm gonna take my butter. Get my- At least she's got the salmon, Fresh garlic would good. probably be better, but this is what I have for now. That goes in the butter. It's kind of a lot, but I like garlic and some squeezes of the lemon. Salt and pepper. Hi. My kitchen is a little bit small and it's it's not even my kitchen. It's, it's my family's kitchen. I mean, compared to what she was eating, at least we've bumped up the quality a little bit. This is all kind of cornered in here. I'll let this cook. A little bit until it gets a bit brown. Ch chunk of salmon is good, but it's, you know, the orange color, the red color, sometimes that means it's high in beta carotene, it's high in uh, flavonoids as well. So it can be kind of hard on the liver compared to other sources of protein.
And I guess the conventional eggs are better than like conventional chicken. At least it has like more nutrients, choline. I it's forgot to mention great. I also have broccoli. It's just already cooked. And here is everything all ready to go. It looks delicious. If it was just more salmon and broccoli, this meal wouldn't be nearly as bad. Uh, really not a fan of conventional eggs. And then she doesn't add any starch or carbs to soak up any toxins. So you really want to avoid meals like this in general on any diet. You know, I've, I've done a lot of stuff on why keto is bad, why carnivore is bad, why you need to have carbohydrates and starches and fiber in every meal. Uh, because with these type of meals, the liver enters like a, a state where it's absorbing nutrients and it's not able to detox. Uh, you know, the body is not designed to only have meals like this. You need to have a lot of starch, a lot of fiber. And even then with a meal like this, it might be a, like a neutral, you know, it might not be better, but at least you're not in the negative like this from a liver health this, perspective. Sometimes I burn the, the garlic a little too much, but I, it looks great today pepper this is just like if you're eating like this and you're not super skinny and lean it's because of the fat profile you know the high omega-6 eggs the low quality stuff like if you were eating super high quality protein sources and only that and you could have a bowl full of rice instead of everything else on the plate the kiwi the cucumbers the broccoli you could have pure starch carbohydrates which most people are against and i think they're going to gain weight on and actually look better than eating something like this which is more restrictive from a carbohydrate perspective lemon juice salt pepper crusher pepper don't forget it's also very important to drink water yeah i mean a lot of green vegetables pretty, pretty, this meal's pretty hard on the liver if she's absorbing it this big old thing keeps me hydrated oh spilled some water mm. i've enjoyed this yeah i mean like for her age body composition and like assumed activity need to stop this kind of keto stuff and just have more starch and carbs kind of diet the most just because like they're all fresh simple ingredients so it makes preparing meals feel really simple and fresh <laughs> You know that video of the mouse eating a candy with like the sad classical music? That's how I feel every meal because I'm always just cooking for one. I don't know if you know this, but kiwi is a superfood. It huh. has more potassium than a banana, more fiber than the leading cereal brand. The whole idea of superfoods is a little redundant because most people don't actually need more of the nutrients that are contained in vegetables or fruits. What they really need to do is they need to detox their body and remove a lot of the negative stuff. And the only way that can be achieved is by reducing the toxins in the diet, which you need to go organic with and make better food choices, and also increase uh, the fiber and starch content of the diet while maintaining a healthy gut microbiome. It's very difficult to do. It's no one, I've not, we've not seen one other person yet following a diet similar to mine outside of the occasional person that's on some type of like cultural, almost like tribal traditional diet, like that African girl um, a few videos ago where she was having like a lot of homemade type of starches and a lot of meats and stuff. Um, what is that, like Cheerios? But more vitamin E and vitamin K than an avocado and more vitamin C than an orange. <gasps> it's time. Because you don't need most of those vitamins. The vitamin E just acts as a preservative in the food itself. The vitamin C content is negligible because it's countered by the sugar intake. You have to take uh, like extra vitamin C on top of that. I'm for my favorite part of the day. Most of the time I get my yogurt from Costco, the, just the Greek yogurt because it's pretty cheap. Um, and it basically has the same macros as this yogurt. But this one is just better because of the texture. It's a little bit more expensive, so I don't get it as often, but I felt like treating myself today. I like to do... Skier is just a really high-protein yogurt made from skim milk. So, you know, the downsides of skim milk being they take out the fat, they take out a lot of the nutrition. It's not that balanced. When you eat fats, fats are generally hard on the liver. Protein can be hard on the liver and the kidneys, and carbohydrates 
can cause dysbiosis if your gut bacteria isn't good. So there's downsides to consuming each macronutrient. It's just easier in some cases to, to fix the downsides of certain ones. Like just taking a probiotic or having a probiotic can fix the carbohydrate downsides, but you can't really do anything. Uh, if you're eating too much fat or protein, you, you just have to reduce them. Two servings of yogurt, some frozen berries, and then honey on top. This one is just, it's so thick. Like, bloop. These are my berries. They're almost gone, so I'm just gonna use the rest. I just remembered I have a secret topping that I can add. These are pre-frozen cotton candy grapes. When they're frozen and you put the honey on it, the honey kind of... I mean, I guess if this was organic, I wouldn't be as against it. Berries are high in oxalates. If it was all high quality stuff, like the grass-fed yogurt too, and maybe it was full fat, this would be a reasonable meal. Hardens a little bit and it becomes like like really sticky honey. And it, I don't know, it's just so good. Because hypothetically, a really high quality full fat yogurt is going to have the adequate probiotic content to counter the downsides of, of the anti-nutrients, the oxalates, the high protein intake. I swear intake. I can go all day and not eat anything sweet. But once it's nighttime, I need my sweets, my sweet treats. And right now, that, that kind of just looks like putting honey on stuff. I mean, these people deprive themselves of carbohydrates all day, and then they kind of pig out and cheat at night. We see it a lot. Like my yogurt bowl, that's a staple. Recently, I put honey on sourdough, which is like not crazy, but it was really good actually. For this snack, it's gonna be peanut butter, a banana, because I need to eat my bananas. Honey again, of course rice cakes voila here she this is a perfect example of foods that people think are healthy but are actually really not healthy we did a video on bananas explaining how they're probably the highest anti-nutrient fruit and one of the worst for gut health out of all the fruits you could eat bananas are probably the worst for gut health look up look up my video on it peanut butter i mean oxidized inflammatory omega-6 moldy usually moldy toxins. I think we did a video on peanut butter too. It's pretty bad. And brown rice is very high in arsenic, very high in arsenic. Wouldn't touch anything brown rice. So every single thing she's putting on this is, is basically one of the worst choices. <laughs> I mean, the way you would improve this, if you had like a, a white rice cake with macadamia nut butter and uh, maybe the bananas were cooked, I, I would say that that's a much less inflammatory choice but you know without having a really deep understanding of nutrition and, and knowing all these things it's, it's i mean again like no no one has gone the lengths for the most part to 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 know every little pro and con of these foods and bring them to kind of mainstream so i mean that's what i've been doing for the past few years and the information is there on my channel but usually these uh these corporate chills take a couple years to copy it. So any, anything you guys hear me say, uh, you'll see it on, on Fox News in three or four years that, oh, make sure to cook your bananas. Oh, try macadamia nut butter instead. You know, don't worry. Don't worry. When they're ready, they'll copy me. We almost she done is. here. Yeah, you got to be really careful with like all the protein bars and a lot of the nutrition energy bars they have in the store. You use brown rice syrup as the sweetener. We did it. We ate our food. Totals for t Now, how, how bad is that meal if it was all organic? I, I think the rice cakes might have actually been organic. The question is like, is there, uh, yeah, they were. What other additives are in there? So downside is high arsenic content. And I guess, I guess it's just not a great food choice, you know? You have to do additional preparation plus going organic to make this meal okay. And I'll, I'll touch on what I said earlier about eating as much as you want. Like, this girl should just increase the food quality a little bit more, have some more starch and fiber, reduce the greens, reduce the anti-nutrients a little bit, maybe slightly improve the protein quality a little more. 
and then she'll feel a lot better and look a lot better. So I think this is a big improvement from what she was doing, but uh, we could still be in a slightly better spot. So I won't, I won't go too much more into detail. I kind of wanted to keep this brief, but if you guys go to frank you can support me through all of my businesses. Uh, we'll we'll do a, a vlog tomorrow, going going more into detail about uh, what happened this week. But uh, I feel I feel bad because I keep asking you guys to help me out and and place orders and support the businesses. But uh, hopefully, hopefully in a few more months we'll be in a better spot. Uh, so if if there's any day beating reviews you guys would like to see, let me know. I kind of have one in mind for next next weekend, but maybe we can do uh, an extra one just to kind of make up for it. Mm -hmm.